Welcome, welcome back to another video of Extreme Stories. We're back with another awesome and amazing video from this awesome channel. And bring to you another amazing story. And today's story revolves around schools. Everyone has been to school, right? Well, of course, because you've all been to school, but there's one thing that always comes to mind whenever you're in school. The school rules. And most of us usually don't follow the rules. Like even the simplest of rules we can easily break. And most of us think that usually the people that you make the rules are usually your friends. But really, they're the complete opposite of that. And I'm going to be telling you the many dumb rules that our school came up with. And the first thing has to do with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi in our school was... A huge thing because we needed it to get to stuff and you know check our social media on our own free time but none of us had the password a couple years ago we actually got the password from a student who actually had the code that was leaked or yes from a teacher's office and that meant everyone else had the Wi-Fi too but that only lasted for a year because in my sophomore year things seem seems to have changed is right in the middle of sophomore year, they cut off the Wi-Fi completely for every single person in the whole school. Like no one in the school had the actual Wi-Fi code anymore, which means that everyone was screwed. So when you went on asking for anyone who had a Wi-Fi password, no one had it anymore because it was all gone. And for the rest of my sophomore year, no one had Wi-Fi anymore because they actually cut it off for everyone. But the next year, they brought it back, which is currently my junior year. This is just one of the things that, that pissed people off. The second thing was the backpack rule. And this rule was, was a rule where you could not bring your, you could not walk to the lunch line with your backpack. Well, whoever we came up with this was pretty dumb because it was just so stupid. And the day they put that into effect, people who went into the line with backpacks on were told to go back and put them down before they come back into the line. So all, all they would just force people to wait two extra minutes. Just to put their backpack down, which is really stupid. But a week later, I don't know how, but the rule was somehow brought down. I wasn't told about this, but I just kept seeing people bringing their backpacks in lines, and apparently the lunch ladies just didn't care anymore, so they stopped telling people to put their backpacks down. Which is good, because all of the, all all this for putting the backpack down is just a waste of time, because it just adds an extra minute to your time. And now, the third rule... This rule was the most unfair, but we could not have snacks in the classrooms. Period. No snacks. We were prohib prohibited from having snacks in the classrooms. But as we know that we disobeyed the rules. Because we really, you know, need fuel to to get through the day. But they just prohibited prohibited snacks altogether. But we still did not care for this rule because most of us just thought it was just a dumb rule. So we brought snacks into the classroom anyways. Even the teachers did. Not just students, but teachers did too. And also, I did remember back when in, one, in my first semester of junior year, I used to have this English, English teacher who would give us snacks for just a buck. And that was a pretty awesome rule. And also, we, had, we even had a student who would come to our third period class, which is actually French class, and hand us some snacks too, just for a buck as well. But that was a pretty sweet deal for us who were starving. But all good things always come to an end. And this just happened just a month ago. Just a month ago, they, should, they, had, a, they had a rule saying that if you're in the hallways and you're, going to, and you're selling and you get caught selling stuff, that you would be taken in and probably given detention or something more severe. But even that rule was even more stupider than the one before because... All they're doing is trying to starve people to death. I mean, if people really, really want snacks, then you at least let them have, let them, you know, have some snacks. Because we were all hungry and we were all depending on those things. It is true today, but they just took those away from us. And even just a couple weeks ago, I overheard that my old English teacher got caught selling snacks. I don't know if it got shut down, but I just hope it, that didn't happen. Yeah, but this last one is the one that triggered me the most and this happened in my French class and in their French class 
we were usually doing our work, but and also we're basically chilling around watching movies. We can be on our phones, we can even talk and chat and chat in class on our free time, but that all came to an end last month. And the main reason was because someone particularly ratted this out and heard about this from a friend. So with the scenery, I assumed that this is what actually happened. Telling you guys, and that's why I thought I thought what would have happened because the next day, our teacher came in the classroom with this one look on his face, saying that someone actually ratted him out. And when we heard about this, we were all very angry because the person who ratted ratted him out actually ruined his reputation. Actually, because now he couldn't do anything. He couldn't have a French club. He couldn't watch movies anymore we couldn't do anything no phones no nothing so whoever was the one who actually the one who ratted on them was really 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 deceiving because this person pretty much just ruined his life he shut he shut us all down for no good reason just for his own benefit so if that guy is happening right now just know that there's like 25 angry kids who don't appreciate what he did I mean, if he really wanted to say something, he should at least he just tell us nicely to go back to work or do something or whatever. But he cannot go in ruining people's lives because that's just dumb. You can't do that to someone who who's you know a cool teacher. I mean, I mean cool teachers don't deserve this. If he's, if they're a cool teacher, let them be a cool teacher. Don't turn them into yourself if you really want them to be yourself because it's wrong. And this is a set of reality even today. With stuff like this. Because basically what schools are doing is trying to suck the fun out of every everyday life in school. Leaving kids with a disappointing attitude towards school. And that's why us kids today aren't happy to be in school because we just hate it. We don't like being bored to death of learning. But sadly, we have to learn for stuff because learning can help for later on. But still, at least have some time before we can go back to our, no our normal stuff in school because this is just because that's stuff like this is a benefit for people in school because then they can focus on stuff better when they actually have time to enjoy school well that's it for today's video if you enjoyed today's awesome video don't forget to leave a like to subscribe to always get updated new videos from this awesome channel and i'll see you guys in your awesome video next time